Ladies and gentlemen, it's Chris here. I'm here once again. As my first message, I don't have time to tell you guys everything, but I'd like to tell you guys this. Shortly after my conversion, when I became a Christian, July 13, 2005, God has gifted me with the gift of prophecy, with interpreting prophecy, the study of Latter-day things, world events, and comparing them to what's going on in our daily news. News lines in light of Bible prophecy. Because <clears throat> I didn't know anything before. As I have studied it, it's been seven years. 2005 to 2012. It has been seven years since I've been saved. And shortly after I got saved, that's when I got introduced to Bible prophecy. I believe that God has called me to be a watchman. So I, I, I want to tell you guys this is this. Like in the beginning when people were saying bad things about the government and this and that I didn't like it because I thought the government was good but as I got the study prophecy I was literally amazed that the Bible actually t talks about a one world government in these last days that, are, that is happening right now before our very eyes so I just want to tell you guys more about this world government but it is here and Bible prophecy, there are 1,000 signs. 500 have already literally been fulfilled, which that just tells me that God intends His Word to be interpreted literally. So there's 1,000 signs. 500 have already literally been fulfilled, and 500 are left to be fulfilled after we're gone, after the Christians have been raptured up to heaven. So, God means exactly what he says. And not one prophecy has ever failed and never will. And never has and never will. The Bible is one-fourth prophecy. Over 80% of Bible prophecy has already come to pass. Now, someone that doesn't have that much faith at all, if over 80% of Bible prophecy has already come to pass, literally, to exact detail right on target, that should make him think, hey, that is significant. I better pay more attention to what the book has to say. So, this is what I wanted to say about this world government is here, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly as the Bible said. It's happening. And I have never, ever seen any prophecy move this fast, this quickly in my life. Ever. And yet, it's happening. It's literally happening, ladies and gentlemen. Like, there was this lady, she was at her first meeting, when they were talking about world government, she was wondering, why isn't anybody doing anything to, to protect their freedoms and our rights? She said, I see it like these people that are over the head of the world, like a powerful mafia, which are these globalists. So, this is what I wanted to say is this about this world government. So, this is what I want to say. It's here. It's been prophesied so many years ago. And it's finally arrived, ladies and gentlemen. It's just not running yet. But it's already, everything's ready to go. All the structures here. Like, the developments towards a one world government are developing so rapidly right now. So, as I was saying, do not be fooled by the government. I'm going to say everything, because on the other video I couldn't say everything. I Certain things I didn't say. Do not be fooled by the government, my friend, by these surveillance cameras. It has nothing to do with stopping crime at all. It has to do with watching you. They want to watch you. They want to track you. They want to monitor you. And they want to study you. Like in the past, Nazi Germany... If they say surveillance is good, it's going to stop crime. Look what happened in Nazi Germany. Look what happened in the Soviet Union, the most surveilled country, in all those places. Didn't do them any good. Their own government, they were controlled. They were controlling the people, and they killed most of their own people. They killed most of their own people, ladies and gentlemen. 
and many people think that this will never happen to them. If people do not learn from history, they are condemned to repeat it. Because look what happened in Romania in 2001. People that never ever thought that that would ever happen. Their own government went against them. And it's about to happen again. This is about to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Because God revealed to um, John in the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 10. He says, there are seven kings. Five have fallen, one is, and one is yet to come. The kings are talking about umpires, people that rule the world. Now, the, he said, there are seven kings, five have fallen, one is, and one is yet to come. Now, these are the five that have fallen. Egypt, Assyria, Babylon, I mean, Persia, and Greece. Now, the one that was, when John wrote the book of Revelation, he said, the one that is, was, was the Roman Empire. He said, the one that is yet to come, that's it. There are no more. He said, there are seven kings, five have fallen, one is, and one is yet to come. So the one that was, when John wrote the book of Revelation, was the Roman Empire. But Rome's going to revive itself. It's going to come back to restoration and come back to life, which will be the final world government. If you listen to my other message, I explain that. So listen to that one, then listen to this one, because I'm giving you more depth on this one here. I'm laying everything out, ladies and gentlemen, because this is not a joke. This is what is happening. As I was saying, this guy, uh, Daniel Estelan, he investigates, he researched about the Bilderberg Group, and they did an investigation on this. You're about to be shocked. They found out who goes to these global meetings. And believe me, ladies and gentlemen, these global meetings are going to affect your future. Unless you're a Christian. You're going up in the rapture. But these global meetings are going to affect the people of the world's future. This world government is enslavement. The people of the world will be slaves of the New World Order. Because I saw this, these army soldiers on the streets. On this thing I saw. The soldier was saying, Look at these armies. Look at these soldiers. These are not the soldiers of the past. These are the soldiers of the future of the new world order. And they said it so bluntly. They're saying it more publicly now. They're saying it more open now, ladies and gentlemen, about this new world order. So, as I was saying, the globalists, can, before I get into all of this, okay, what was I saying? Yeah. They did an investigation about who goes to these Bilderberg meetings. Get ready for a shock. President Obama, Hillary Clinton, David Rockefeller, some girl Rice, that black lady in the States, and Henry Kissinger. But he's part of the Bilderberg group. And Prince Charles. They're all in these meetings. Because people say, why can't you destroy the Bilderbergs? Why? Because they have politicians on their side. <laughs> so, this is what I want to say is this. I want to make sure that you guys get this clear. Okay. As I was saying before, September 11th, 2001 was planned, organized, and orchestrated. That was not a terrorist threat. The globalists probably told them to do that. Because everybody, in the president of Iran, all these people want a world government. So, there was people outside at 2 in the morning, ladies and gentlemen. 3 in the morning, with vans. They are putting bombs into the building of the Twin Towers. And dynamite explosions okay explosions and many people did not go to work that day why see they did not investigate their mission properly or oh, we're fighting terrorism is that funny eh why is it that some people did not go to work and Benjamin Yahoo the president of Israel he wrote a book he talked about something happening in New York City. 
And many other people said that the Twin Towers is going to get hit. Way before it happened. Way before. And some people say, oh, these people are crazy. These people are conspiracy theories. No, because they see what's going on behind the scenes. That the media does not want you to know. The media has lied to you guys. Okay? Because they interviewed some people on the street the next day. Okay? The next day, she said, I never even thought it came from those buildings. I thought the subway beneath me exploded. I thought a bomb went off. It sounded like a bomb! You see, it sounded like a bomb, ladies and gentlemen. People believe whatever the news tells them. And they're laughing. They're laughing. Let's just broadcast on the news that this was an accident. An accident. 3,000 people incinerated. That was an accident. It's a big lie. That's what it is. And people are stupid enough to believe their lies. Unless people are ignorant and they're not informed. They don't know nothing. So I'm laying it all out. I'm exposing it right now as it is. They put bombs, dynamites, and explosions in those buildings, okay? I want you guys to get this straight right here as it is. When the Twin Towers were built, because they interviewed the people that built them and everything, these buildings were fireproof, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't matter if that fuel or jet was filled with explosions or, uh, what's it called? Because a plane hit the building. Obviously, it's going to blow, and that should have been the end of it. That should have been the end. Hit, boom, that's it. It's over. Look at me. If, put this on your computer and watch it. I want you to get this right now. See my hand? When the plane came, okay? Wait. Okay. When the plane came, it came, when it hit, boom. This here should have collapsed. This should have here. This should have fell and falling down and that's it that's all but no it went floor by floor boom 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 because there was dynamites and even some places show that the building exploded way before the plane hit it like inches before like as if there was someone holding a button to it all these things ladies and gentlemen there's so many things and plus listen to this okay listen to this Because af shortly after that, there was a building that was on fire in Spain, okay? There was a building on fire in Spain. It burned for two days straight. The Twin Towers burned longer than that. There was weeks burning, I think. So, they were saying on the news, Oh, the building's engulfed in flames, so it's going to collapse, just like the Twin Towers did. They were all trade. But guess what? It never collapsed. Never. Ever. Never collapsed. This was an inside job. Because afterwards it never waste a good crisis. Now this is, our, this is our time. This is our hour to make a surveillance society. To blame it all on crime. But it's not. They are. Because after the protesters were saying... Our government trained the Al-Qaeda. Our government trained the Al-Qaeda. The United States government trained the Al-Qaeda. And that is so true, ladies and gentlemen. President Bush, he supported Osama bin Laden's family with weapons, with nukes. You name it. They're all part of this. They're savages. They're massive murderers. That's what they are. Don't be fooled by them, my friend. Do not be fooled by the government. Whatever they say. Because there was other things, and people were actually shocked. Why in the world are these things not broadcasted on the TV? Why? Why doesn't it make screen headlines? You see, they convinced us. If it's not on the Toronto Star, if it's not on the TV, therefore it's conspiracy or it's not true. But no, because the media, they're with the Bilderbergs. So the Bilderberg says, do not, they call it the Toronto Star, cut that story. Don't broadcast that on the news. Therefore, the people of the world do not see it. Therefore, it's a conspiracy or it's just a rumor or it's just a lie and it's not true at all. People have a hidden agenda. They do not want you to know. Because what people believe in is what's ruling the world. And we're hearing more about this world government. They're openly proclaiming world government. It's no longer hidden. They're saying this is what we're doing and we're going along with it. This was on papers and documented. Like I said, Daniel Estelan, 
he's no longer allowed in the states because he's exposing them. For 20 years. They actually tried to kill him. And this other guy got chased by the Bilderbergs and so many things. And they have a Bilderberg Hotel in Virginia and in Holland. So, and they're from Europe. That is significant. Like the Bible says, the European Union. So, do not be fooled, my friends. This one world government is going to have a one world army. Like I said in the beginning, that's what they were saying. These soldiers are the soldiers of the new world order. So the one world government is going to have an army and police force. With blue helmets, ski masks, black suits, SWAT teams, you name it. And they're actually training children. The tattletale on their parents. They take the children from their parents. And they bring them into a place. It's barbed wire. It's fenced. They're with certain people. They're telling them what to watch for and what to look for in their parents. Like if they're cheating on their tax or whatever. So that when the children go back, they tell them. And a SWAT team goes in there, breaks down the door, and they beat up their parents. This is true, ladies and gentlemen. This, this is what's happening. This is evil. Because there was this guy. He went to the States. There was these big guys in ski masks and their black suits. Like police officers, you know, with the ski masks and the black suits and everything. So he said, who are you? What's your name? He's like, I don't have to tell you who I am. Because they were at the bars, ladies and gentlemen. These police officers were at the bars arresting people that were not even drinking. They did not even take breathalyzer tests. They just took the people that were standing outside and they threw them in the car and they arrested them. So the guy said, you're asking for ID for these people, but you won't show me yours? Because he didn't have, a, he didn't have uh, his police badge. He's like, well, I don't know if you're really a cop. Who are you? You can be an immigrant. You can be someone else that you're claiming to be. What's your name? He said, I'm not telling you who I am. This is the police state, ladies and gentlemen. There are developments developing in the United States of America so rapidly towards a police state. A police state is, they take control of your city, towns, and countries. You have no sayings, you have no rights, no freedoms, no nothing. You go along with what they say, or they'll throw you in prison, because they already have the FEMA camps. They have death camps. They have torture camps. You name it. Order of death. This is sick, because this is true, because they arrested a lady, okay? They arrested a lady, and they cut off her finger, ladies and gentlemen. These people are sick, and they were tormenting children. I'm not just talking off of my head, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you the facts, things that have happened. They, to they were tormenting children. And there was this other case. I don't know how they did it, but... They took all the air out of somebody's lungs while they were interrogating them. They were torturing them. And they put needles, needles in the fingers. Sick. They're sick people. And you know those tasers, they, they, they shock you with, or electrocute you or whatever? They did that on the guy's genitals. These people are sick savages, ladies and gentlemen. Do not trust anybody. This is what's happening they're openly proclaiming world government. The financial bankers and the Washington Post. But a world government, all these things. So, this is what I wanted to say. They're saying, this has nothing to do with freedom. This has to do with security. But this is a lie. This is a lie, ladies and gentlemen. Because there's a... There's an Echelon project. You can check this out. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Whoever you are, check it out. In Echelon, this is part of the European Union property. They've divided the world up, and they are listening to every conversation. They said, this is necessary so that we can track criminals and terrorists. It's a big lie. A big lie. They're listening to me and you, our conversations. How do they know who's guilty and who's not guilty? They have to listen to every conversation. This has nothing to do with that, ladies and gentlemen. Do not be fooled. This has to do with control. 
they do not want, because they have all the money and all the wealth that they want. What their hunger and their thirst after is this global power by martial law is coming to the world. Well, all the cities, towns, and countries are going to be under martial law. And believe me, these people know how to follow orders. And that's what they do. If they're demanded to kill and shoot you, they will do it. They follow orders and they do that so very well. And plus there was a uh, riot police. Riot police! Because there, there was these people protesting. They were doing something. But the police were all part of it. Because they didn't do nothing. Nothing. There were these kids. They picked up the garbage and they threw it and they broke the window, the bank and everything. And they did not do a thing to these people. Oh, we couldn't do nothing. We were over here. We were doing our job, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, they couldn't do that. And they did not even arrest them in the employment center or whatever it was. They gave them a free apartment up in that housing area. Low, low income housing. So why does, not, why does this not make the front news? You know? This is what's happening. They're all part of it. And these riot police... After they were like as if they were a pit bull off a, off a leash that has gone wild. There was, in, there was innocent people, citizens, just innocent people walking down the street. They were in the wrong place at the wrong time. The police grabbed them and threw them on the ground. They started punching them and punching them and hitting them. They had their tear gas. They had their weapons. You name it. And they threw these people in prison. This big bus came in. They threw them all in the bus. And they brought them to the FEMA camp. What is going on? You see this? And plus, they're actually proclaiming this. You can check it up on the internet. They're announcing it. That they have the ability to watch you through your TV. And the shows that you watch. I said, this is the very reason why we are watching your TV, we're watching you through your TV is because of security. For the children. Wow. This has nothing to do with it, ladies and gentlemen. This is absolute control. This is, a, this is destroying our freedoms and our rights are being demolished. I'm saying this is for our, this is for your security. No. I mean, the government has a little bit of power, that's not enough. When you give them a lot of power, they go out of control. They use it for something else. They say they're only going to use it for this purpose and they use it for something else. What's next? It's never, it's never ending, ladies and gentlemen. They have a secret spy plane that can see through your walls and see the activities that are going on in your house. And this is not me saying it. This is documented in papers. They're saying this is for your own security for us to watch over you. A whole surveilled society. Surveillance society. This has never worked. And it's not going to work even in our time. This never worked in Nazi Germany. This never worked in, in the Soviet Union. The communist China. Russia. What makes you think it's going to work now? The government is going to go against its people. But listen, because I said this is going to be total enslavement. But this is what I want you to get is this. Okay? The globalists are causing these disasters to happen. Why? So they can put fear in the people. More fear, more fear. They get petrified. They get terrified. So that the people, they get so related onto the government that they say, yes, Government, save me, protect me. They're going to look to the government as a savior. Please protect me. I give up my freedoms. I give up my rational sovereignty. I give up my rights. Whatever it takes for you to protect me from this terror, yes. If, it, if this is what it takes to, 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 to uh, stop all this crime, I give everything to you. To set up this world government. This is what they're doing to make the citizens of the globe terrified so they, they can press upon them. This is the way that we need to accept this world government is to stop this. And this is what they're doing. Because the, 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 the CIA created the Al-Qaeda. I'm telling you everything, ladies and gentlemen. And this one world governmental system will be no friend of humanity. And it will be no friend of Christianity or Judaism. 
Because they said that the world is overpopulated. There's so many people, we, we lose track of them. We need to come up with a system. A tracking the system. Electronic tattoo mark. Where we can mark everybody. So we know everything about them. We have them on the list. And if you don't take that, they're going to say you're a terrorist or you're hiding something. These people are crazy. Because this is not about an economic decision. Because they're also, the government's also saying that we need a one world religion. That's all we need for world peace because they already have the world government. These people, they know, they know if we have a world government, we're going to need an, a one world religion. Why? Because divided religions means a divided world. And the one world religion will probably be Islamic. Because it says if people do not worship the beast, this, this world dictator that's coming, which is the Antichrist, in Revelation 13, 15, says they shall be put to death. Whoever did not worship the beast. He's going to demand worldwide worship, ladies and gentlemen. Man, this is where our world is headed. This is found in the Vatican and so on. Because their effort right now is to rebuild the Jewish temple. And they want to make Jerusalem the capital of the world so that all nations come up to Jerusalem to worship Tony Blair. His main goal is to uh, unite all the world religions and make a one world religion. Exactly as the Bible said. So, <coughs> I'm trying to think. <clears throat> what else? Yeah, they want to make operations. They want to, they're crazy. This is not me saying this. I want you guys to think that I'm crazy. And I can care less what you guys think about me. I'm just laying the facts out. I'm telling you as it is. You guys can think whatever. This is what's happening. But these people are not, they're trying to say, we can implant a microchip in people's brains. Because, ladies and gentlemen, there is a war over your mind. It's like the stocks of Germany. Hitler controlled the German people. They went along what he said, and that is what's happening right now. Okay? Because the Bible says, prior to the arrival of the Antichrist, this world is going to be in an economic turmoil. Because we see the same press down through history. How did Germany come into power? Hitler did not force himself into power. He was welcomed to the platform with arms wide open. Believe me, they welcomed him. They were in a place of bankruptcy. They were crying for economic relief for anyone to come into power. That is exactly how Hitler came into power. And that's exactly what we're seeing happening right now in our world. That you see it all over. You know, people are losing their jobs. People are losing everything. They want someone to rise up. And this is amazing. This was in 1957. He was the Secretary General of Paul Henry Spock, Secretary of the UN, the United Nations. He said, we do not want another committee. We have too many already. What we want is a man, wow, a man, who is able to hold the allegiance of all people. All people. Hold the allegiance of all people. Send us such a man? No. We do not want another committee. We have too many already. What we want is a man of significant stature who is able to hold the allegiance of all people and to pull us out of this economic morass in which we are sinking. Send us such a man, be he God or the devil, we will receive him. Wow. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. As we speak, this is it. We're headed towards globalism. This is it. I just wanted to warn you guys about this. This is what's happening. They're going around with these special goggles. They can see into our house. And they're saying it's for our own security. This is ridiculous. This is literally insane. And plus, there is a, <coughs> there's a push for every nation of the globe to have its citizens numbered with national ID cards. Okay? I want you guys to get this straight right now as it is. Just in case it happens where you guys are. They said this national ID card is going to replace the social insurance card. But once you have that, because there's RFID technology in it, that card, your whole life, everything about you is open to the government. Your history, your medical bills, the things you buy, the things you do, you name it. Because uh, this was years ago, in the Clinton 
administration. In the Clinton administration, Bill Clinton, he passed a law that he said, let us all agree on this one thing. Whatever our differences, whatever our differences are, let us agree on this. You sign, and I, you sign, and I'll pass. And every citizen of the globe, no, every citizen of the United States will have this national ID card, and it will be authorized to work. Without it, you cannot work. And they actually have electronic uh, tattoo mark. They have an RFID tattoo mark. All these things are happening, ladies and gentlemen, exactly as the Bible said. Because they say money is not a good thing, okay? Money is not good. It leads to robbery. It leads to bank robbery. It leads to prostitution, frauds, you name it. So to eliminate cash, or eliminate crime, which is not true. They're still going to, criminals are going to commit crime no matter what. So this is what they're saying, because bankers want to get rid of cash. And the governments want to get rid of cash. Because there was this financial banker. He said money is inefficient. Credit cards is inefficient. And he said, not too far from now. I forget how he said it, but he said, it will not be touchy-feeling. It will be different than what the world has known. And believe me, ladies and gentlemen, this is true. Because these are bankers setting things up right now. It's an electronic wallet, a cash card, just on a card, no more money. So eventually those are going to be able to get committing frauds and frauds, so where are they going to come up to? Why not just invent a system, a tattoo mark, a permanent mark system, and we just put it on your right hand or on your forehead, problem solved. Cut off all the stress. You just put that under electronic radar. It reads. Or over your head. It reads. You don't have to worry about your cards. You don't have to worry about losing your cards. You don't have to worry about nothing. They cannot commit fraud because you have it on you. They cannot steal your identity because it's implanted in you with this new mark system. And if you're outside of this mark system, you will not be able to buy. But if you're in it, You'll be able to buy and sell and work and have a daily life like you're doing now. But this is more than buying and selling. This has to do with a religious system, as I said. This is where this is where the electron this is where the technology is leading us, ladies and gentlemen. So that's what I wanted to say. These people are crazy, man. They're watching us through our TV. They're saying it's for our own security to watch over us. And many people are accepting it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, if it prevents breaking in, they can tell if someone's breaking into my house. Oh, fine. I don't have to worry. The government's watching me through the TV. That, mm, that's good. Yeah, right, that's good. That's in private. That's invasion of privacy, of freedoms. Like, why do they have to watch you? Because they want to know everything. And they can also watch the things that you're watching. And the government says, we know where you live, which they do, of course. You see, they're, they're openly proclaiming it, like I said before, on the American dollar bill. They've been announcing it for thousands of years. The all-seeing eye. It's here, ladies and gentlemen. Surveillance cameras everywhere. The next thing to happen is to confiscate the firearms. So the people of the world, like I said, this is going to be enslavement for the citizens of the world. The people of the world are going to be the New World Order's slaves. They're going to have to follow orders or they're going to be killed or thrown into these torture camps, FEMA camps, death camps, and they're going to be tortured like you cannot imagine. And then they're going to cut their head off by the guillotine. Those that don't take the mark of the beast. This, these are all signs of the tribulation. They're right before us, ladies and gentlemen. We're running, on, we're running on God's grace right now. The rapture of the church is about to happen because the Antichrist is going to have all the armies working for him. Martial law. This is going to be worse than Nazi Germany. You know, it's already started. You will have no sayings in it. You will not be able to say anything. You will go against it. You're a threat to them. They're going to get rid of you. So, I just wanted to let you guys know about this because uh, this is what's happening is this. This is what is happening, ladies and gentlemen. 
because they got they go into uh, military dictatorship with the police and the army, martial law. So this is what I want to tell you is that. And plus, listen very carefully, this is all deception. These are all lies. Okay? Obama. I don't know if he's going to be the next president. Because there's an election coming up in uh, October or November. But this is the reason why he accepted homosexuality. It has nothing to do with if he accepts it or not. I don't know if he does. I really don't know that. The reason why he did that is so that the people like him. So that he gets reelected in November. And plus the gas prices are going to go down in November because he has connections with the Saudi Arabians. This is all a deception, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is all in a deception. People that know their Bibles and prophecy, they know that it is about over. Time is running out. Everything that the Bible predicted is happening right now, which means the rapture of the church is the next event to take place. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Christ is coming back because this world is not going to be the same as it used to be. People are not going to recognize it. It's going to be lots of changes. With this global government, people are actually going to have to follow orders. It's going to be like living in a prison. The whole world is going to be like a prison. And these people ruling over you, you're going to have to do what they say. Probably going to install certain restrictions that you're not allowed to do, and this and this and this and that. So, this is it. This is what I want to tell you guys. Is this, this is what's happening about this world governmental system. They're committing crimes against humanity. So, there's nothing else I can do. Because this is Bible prophecy and you can't stop anything. What God says will, ha what God says will happen exactly as he said it. You cannot stop the prophecy from being fulfilled. This is going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. It's already starting to happen, as I said. World government. Gorbachev, he's a, a communist of Russia. He's like 76 years old. He's like barely getting in his sleep because that's all he's doing. He's trying to push for it, push, push, pushing for this global government. Because I say this is the only re this is the only way that we can have lasting peace. A unified world, one world government, which we will have world peace. Wow. Because this is, this is all a deception, ladies and gentlemen. Because I want to talk to you about Osama bin Laden for a minute. I don't know if you guys know anything about this. Well, obviously you do. Because they're trying to say, oh, we're fighting terrorism. But this is all part of the global plan for people to surrender their rational sovereignty so the government can protect them, which is a lie, because the government's laughing in their face. They're going to control them, like the people of Nazi Germany has in the past. Because they did uh, an investigation. Many people believe that Bin Laden's been dead for years. This didn't happen in 2011. Maybe it did. I don't know. Because the government has lied so many times. You don't know what to believe. Because there was this guy that did an investigation. He had him on his show. And he said, well, because this guy, Jesse Ventura, he's, a, he's an ex, uh, he's a former uh, Navy SEAL, okay? So this guy, Alex Jones, was asking him, Jesse, so what's going on? He said, well, Alex, you know, I, I really don't know what to believe here because the government has lied to me so many times. First, they're saying they went into the house, Osama bin Laden came with them voluntarily. And then another story is uh, bin Laden tried to fire on them. He tried to get with he tried to get them, to shoot them, to, to attack them. And then uh, another story is this is that his wife stood in front of him. And another one is that he went with them. So I really don't know what to believe here. 
I really can't tell you the truth because I really don't know because the, the government has lied to me so many times, Alex. I just don't know what to believe. Like, they're changing the story all the time. It's going from one story to the next. So what's the real truth here? What's the truth behind this? He said, well, Jesse, you is a, a former Navy SEAL. How does this go down? He said, well, this is how it goes down, Alex, is this. We tell them to come with us voluntarily. Then we shoot them. We get the job done on the spot. It's, it's as simple as that. Or we just shoot them right there. We shoot them right there. Because people are starting to wonder, why didn't they show his body? Because when they hung Saddam Hussein, he was hung live on uh, live television. He was hung. But yet, when it comes to this guy, Bin Laden, they don't show his body. Now, why is that? So, uh, Jesse said this. Well, Alex, this is what they say is this. Because uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it is an Islamic uh, tradition, is this. Is they wash the body, and then they bury it at the sea. That's why they didn't show the body. It's because they buried it at the sea. Because that's an Islamic tradition of their, of their religion. Ladies and gentlemen, they found out that this is a lie. That Islamic people are not buried at the sea. <laughs> They're not buried at the sea. It's a bunch of bull. They said that Islamic people are buried just like the Jewish people. They're buried in the stones, in the caves, in the wall. So when he told him that, he's like, well, Alex, like I said, I really don't know what to believe here because the government has lied to me so many times. I, I just don't know what to believe. So I'm going to call some of my buddies up that are still in the, the Navy SEALs. I'm going to see what they think about this, and I'll get back at you on this because uh, I really don't know what's going on here. Because the news, you know, they're, they're, they're changing the stories left and right. I just don't know what is true here anymore. So ladies and gentlemen, this, this is true. You see, you can't believe the media. You cannot believe the media. Because this guy was a former, okay? Listen, this guy was a former uh, politician. He was with David Rockefeller. He's part of the group of people setting up this world government. He was telling this guy, the former uh, politician, because they became best friends, you know? So he was revealing all the secrets to him. He said, we went to... <coughs> We went to Afghanistan, we took the oil, we made this happen, we did this, we did this, we did that. So why are you doing this? Why are you doing this for? You have all the money you want, you have all the wealth. Why do you have to do this for? Say, oh, what do you care about these people, man? What do you care? They're nothing. You go home, you, you provide for your family, you live your life. Who cares about these people, man? They're nothing. So you just do your life, live your life, support your family. Who cares about these people? These people are nothing. So, this politician asked David Rockefeller what his goal was. So, he said, what's your goal? He's like, you want to know what my goal is? My goal is to have every citizen on the globe implanted with a microchip, and if they go against us, we shut off the chip, and they can't get nothing. They can't buy nothing. That's what our goal is, to invent every human being that lives on the face of the globe implanted with a microchip. Wow. And he says, you know how, this is coming from David Rockefeller, this is what he said to the, uh, this former politician. He said, you know how we get the people of the world not to believe that this world government and all these things are happening? We do it through the media. We tell the media not to broadcast it. And they believe it. <laughs> you see, guys, you see, things are happening. This guy told him. He talked to David Rockefeller. He's uh, Nelson Rockefeller's son. You can check him up, too. He owns banks and everything. These people are millionaires. They're crazy. They have all the money they want, which is true. They have all the money they want. Like I said, it has nothing to do with money or wealth. What they're hunger and thirst after is, is global power. They want to rule the whole entire world, which the Bible says will be the Antichrist. One man's going to rule the world. So this is here, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, this is what I want to talk to you guys about was this because this was really an urgency on me. There's going to be a police state coming to uh, because the world government developments are developing so rapidly right now. 
We're at the doors, ladies and gentlemen, of the rapture of the church. But this police state is coming to Canada. And it's going to be worldwide. Because I saw something about this guy that was in Toronto. He was just minding his own business. He was with his friend. He was with his friends, okay, guys? He was with his friends. This guy was with his friends. In Toronto. Walking down a the street, there was these police there. Hey, you! Stop right now where you are. Go back down the street that you came down on. He said, why? Because. Go down the street right now. So the kid started freaking out, you know? You know, he's a young kid. He's a teenager. So he's, so the cop, so they got into a big thing. They started arguing with one another. So the cop said, let us search your bag right now. We're searching your bag right here, right now. So why do you want to search my bag? I'm not going to let you search my bag. Why do you want to search my bag for this is strong stuff, ladies and gentlemen. But listen, eventually they did not search his bag. So the kid's like, what are you doing, man? This is Canada. He's like, right now, this is not Canada for you. You're not in Canada right now. Which he was. He's in Toronto. This cop's talking through his mouth. He's talking smart. Like saying, look who's in charge here. And then there was a female cop that came after. She said, oh, they're having the G8 and G20 summit meetings. You see, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I'm talking about. This was in Toronto, Canada. Ontario. It's coming to Canada, ladies and gentlemen, where our freedoms, our rights, our democracy, our liberties are being demolished. They're being eradicated from us. They're disappearing because they say freedom is not a good thing. It leads to anarchy. It leads to so many things. So we're going to come up with a one world government and have everybody implanted with a tracking device and with this one world religious system everybody of the globe is going to have to come up and worship this one world dictator enough has been said this is it ladies and gentlemen this is it because the world trade was invented in 1995 they already have a world trade, they have a world bank, they have a world court. This is in the United States, but this is all coming to Canada. It said the police state, all these things. The Bible says, he shall devour the whole world, trample it, and break it in pieces. This is it. This is the end as we know it, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not, I'm not saying this. this. This is serious here. This is the end. This is the end. The world's not going to be the same as it used to be. They're not, it's not, they're not going to recognize things. So this, this is the end as we know it. Jesus is coming very soon. That's the next event to take place on God's prophetic calendar is the rapture of the church. So, this is it. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. So all I can tell you guys is... Uh, do not be fooled by the government saying this is for your security, this is for your health, or whatever. They're going to say all kinds of lies. These, these police officers in these black suits and with these ski masks, the helmets, the blue helmets, you name it. Because they're secret police, okay guys? There's so many things that I can say. That's why I had to make another CD. They're secret police. They don't have a badge. They're, they are secret police. They can arrest you and throw you in prison without a trial. Because they have a world court where the judge and the crown... No. Yeah, the judge and the jury are the same. They're both the same. The prosecutor and the jury are the same. This is happening, man. This is here, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't believe what I'm telling you, do your research. Do your homework and you'll come up to a conclusion that this is indeed happening. This is what God said would happen and it's finally happening, ladies and gentlemen. Because President Bush said this would go on for thousands of years, this world government. But they have to get rid of money. Like We just finished discussing all these things. It's going to be a prison planet, ladies and gentlemen. Total and slavery for the citizens of the globe. 
they're going to be the slaves of the world government, this one world system, this new world order. And it's not anything new at all. This goes way, way back to World War II and even before that. The Tower of Babylon. Tower of Babel, I mean. So, people, I don't know what to say. I literally do not know what to say, ladies and gentlemen. But this is here. This is what is happening. So, but the good thing about this is this. Before this one world government starts running, because they're setting it up right now. They're setting it up. But before it starts running, the rapture of the church is going to take place. All true believers, all Christians will be raptured. They will be gone to be with Jesus. Because the church will not endure the tribulation. We are going to be with Jesus. So thank God for the rapture. So I just wanted to leave this message behind with you guys. So may you share this uh, CD with your family, with your friends, and whoever is in your life. And just tell them about this world government. Because it's not a good thing at all. We're taking away your freedoms, your rights, your liberties. You name it. You have to go by what they say. Or they'll throw you in prison. And so many things. This is the truth, ladies and gentlemen. This is the truth. Imagine, this was prophesied over 3,000 years ago. And it's happening to exact detail. The developments of the world government are developing so rapidly. This is amazing. This should just show someone that the Bible indeed is the Word of God. It's happening precisely. It's all coming together. It's all forming. It's the ground being paved. The structure is being laid down right now. Because the Illuminati, this is back in, this was thousands of years ago in Germany, this is actually true. They actually planned three major world wars to make it, to make, uh, was it Germany? Or was it another country? They, to make it in a communist country and an atheist country, and it happened. And they made World War Two, and now they're planning, what's it called? World War Three. The Jews and the, the Jews and the, the Muslims. And plus the Bilderbergs, and they're meeting in 2000, I think 2008 or 2009. Their plan is to have every citizen of the globe microchipped by 2017, which will probably be the mark. I don't know. I'm just saying, there, there's just so many stuff happening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the time for Jesus to come back. He's coming to set up his kingdom on earth. That's the good news. When Jesus Christ returns, he's going to destroy this monstrous, world well, government. He's going to destroy it. So, this is all i got to say. So, whoever's listening to this, on this side of the rapture of the church, if you felt God dealing with your heart to get right with Him, you felt His presence, you feel His peace, His joy, His love, may you not reject Him. May you receive Him as your personal Lord and Savior. And this is all i got to say. I needed to tell you guys about this because this is what's happening and it's here. A surveillance society. Cameras everywhere. And the next thing is to take all the firearms off the people. So you'll be undefensive. You will not be able to defend yourself against this. This is it. That's why Jesus said there's coming a great tribulation such as never was since the beginning of the world until that time nor ever shall be. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved but for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened, which are the Jews. Jesus said there's a time coming that the world has never experienced ever before. And people have been having visions of the rapture of the church, ladies and gentlemen. People have been having prophetic visions worldwide. Jesus is trying to wake up his church to tell them that he's coming soon. And many people had a vision of the, the Antichrist. This girl was actually brought to hell. Okay? Her name is Mary Kate Baxter. 
she went to hell Jesus came and brought her to hell so many things happening there people burning worms and, and if you want to check it out you guys can go check it out this is for real there's a heaven there's a hell that's why I'm saying if you feel God dealing with your heart do not reject them you feel God touching you with his love his presence receive him as your Lord and Savior and Jesus will give you eternal life praise God but this, this girl she also had a vision of the beast the Antichrist okay this is this is for real she saw army troops running the streets people that were Christians they got left behind so why because that person would not forgive somebody he held unforgiveness in his heart that's why if you don't forgive your father will neither forgive you you will reap what you sow so he was left behind and these army troops took them they, they tortured these people they took them in the van they brought them to a building they were torturing them ladies and gentlemen to a building to take the mark the mark of the beast and they didn't they killed them they, they cut off their heads there were army troops and that's, we're starting to see that developing developing we see these developments developing so rapidly what she, what she saw is happening right now you see the police martial law the police state take over because the mark of the beast is probably going to be in schools for people to go get it it will probably be in schools the CLSC hospitals you name it it will be painless you just stamp a mark on you it's permanent you cannot take it off it's there but those that take the mark they're going straight to hell it's for them to take the mark is to welcome eternal damnation I'm just saying closing time is upon us ladies and gentlemen if you feel God dealing with your heart, may you get right with them. Now is the time. If you feel God dealing with your heart, God's touching you, this is it. Jesus is coming. This world is headed for judgment. The things that are going to be going on during the tribulation period. So, this is it. The good news is Jesus is coming. So, praise God. And this is the message that I wanted to leave with you guys. So, this is all I got to say. And God bless. And share this message with as many people as you can. Because this is what's happening. Because this is what the Word of God said. And God's Word never fails. What He says will happen precisely to exact detail right on target. So the remaining stuff is happening. Because the stuff that's going to be going on after the rapture of the church it's already starting to happen the stuff that's going to be happening after the Christians are gone after we're gone because I'm a Christian the things that are going to be going on after the rapture has taken place they're already starting to happen imagine they're already starting to happen so if this close to the arrival of the Antichrist and believe me ladies we are this world government when we're this close to the arrival of the Antichrist, that means the rapture of the church is even closer. So this is all i got to say, and God bless, and may you warn many people as possible. But you won't be able to do anything about it, because the Bible says world government is coming. But, you know, just stand up for your rights. But even that, it's not you're not going to be able to do anything, because it's going to be, no matter what you do, no matter what you try to do, nothing is going to happen because people in biblical times used to protest and they used to go against the Roman Empire of biblical times nothing happened it ruled the whole world the whole world was under Roman law so there's nothing you can do so that's why I'm saying if you feel God dealing with your heart may you get right with them and this is all I gotta say and ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna let you go from here and God bless you and I want you to know that Jesus Christ loves you and he's coming soon so if you feel God dealing with your heart do not harden your heart, my friend. Do not harden your heart. Repent of your sin and trust in Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And you will be saved for all of eternity. And God bless.